what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. So, guys, we're back here on the video, guys. And this is my video. My name is Devin. Welcome to the best video. So, then we're going to be reacting to an uh, artist has a life changing debate with more Mufti Make. So, we're going to first check this out and say we check out with you guys. So, how do we? One day I was speaking to a man. Very interesting discussion on an aircraft normally you know travel quite a bit so you get to meet people and when they ask you what do you do some, you know you tell them no i i'm a religious person i try to you know teach people a little bit here and there myself as well so i was discussing with this man he tells me i'm an atheist i said okay so what do you believe he says i believe when we die we're just returned to nature so i said okay when you die what have you told those whom you leave behind to do? He says, I will be cremated. I will be cremated. So I had a beautiful discussion with him, explaining to him the damage and the harm of being cremated. He was not happy initially, but then he said, wow, you got me thinking. What did I tell him? I told him, brother, you see, we are buried. We are taught how to be buried from the time of Adam alayhi salatu was salam. We believe that you, we were created from soil. And the evidence for that is, when we are returned to the soil, we decompose completely into the soil such that the remnants, there is almost nil or nothing. Have you thought of it? This man says, but I'm going to be cremated. I said, now when you cremate a person, what are you doing? You are applying tremendous heat and tremendous pressure to your body. We will not talk right now about whether you can feel it or not, but I will tell you that will not return to the soil. The reason is it becomes ash. Ash and soil are two different things completely. If you were to be decomposed without tremendous heat and pressure, you will decompose within the soil. The minute you apply heat and pressure, you become ash. That ash, what happens to it? It does not return to the soil. In fact, it remains separated. I said, but the, the point I'd like to ask you is, how do you know that you're not going to feel when people are burning you. He says, because medicine tells us that you don't feel anymore. I said, what if someone has felt it and they could not come back to tell you that we felt it? He says, I'll see when I go. I said, it will be too late. No answer. I'll see when I go. It's too late because people are saying, okay, you're going to burn me. And I start saying, but you want the punishment already whilst you're still leaving the world, not even got to the life after, you know, the year after, so to speak, in the proper sense. And then he looks at me and he says, but you've got me thinking. And I told him something else. I said, okay, my brother, listen to me. Let's say, for example, what you are saying and what I am saying. Put it to the litmus test. If what you are saying is true, then when we die, we will just be decomposed and that's it. Everything is over. What is the possibility and probability of what I am saying to be true? Is there any probability? He says, no, no chance. I said, okay, when I die, if I was a good man who worshipped whoever made me, whoever made me, I call him Allah. I call him Allah, Allah the worshipped one. And I say he is one alone. No worship to be rendered to anyone besides Al-Khaliq, besides the one who made me. I put my head on the ground for him. I render an act of worship for him. Whatever I do is for him. So if I were to worship my maker and say, Oh, you who made me, have mercy on me. Oh, you whom I am going to return to when I die, have mercy on me. So that is my statement on one hand. And on your side, you do whatever you want and you're not prepared and whatever. When we die, if what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I would have just died and decomposed. This is just a statement to make people think. If what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I decomposed. But if what I have said was right, you have lost everything. It's a fact. 
So why don't you just come and adopt what I've said? Because even in that case, you will lose nothing. Amazing. So follow some rules, follow some regulations and continue to say, Oh, you whom I'm going to return to have mercy upon me the day I return to you. When you return to someone like you are saying, you may, there may be a probability according to them, but you would have lost everything if what I said was true. He said, well, I'm going to think about it and think about it seriously. He says, you are the first person who's made me shaky in what I believe. I said, you know what? That means you have not spoken to enough people because even a child will tell you that there is a maker. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, something. That's true. He just converted someone already. Yeah. That's true. And it's, it's really nice how he pointed the viewpoint out to him it was like what if you are wrong yeah what if you are wrong okay i committed already and uh, you do, don't believe in any uh, you don't believe in god and you can't come back so um according to our religion if you don't believe in god um and you're not a believer if you're not a believer and you sin you go to the lake of fire so if you, you don't believe in any religion at all. You believe once you die, you are committed, you go back to the soil. And we, um, he was like speaking to himself, me, myself, who I believe there is a God. Why don't you come join me? Because if you die and you believe in the God I believe, you have nothing to lose. Yes. And that is the main truth. And he was like, he's shaky, he's shaky. You're the first person I spoke to. And the guy said, you have not spoken to a lot of people at all. Even, because even a child will tell you, that hits me deep. That was so, so true, guys. I, I shocked when people would be like, I don't believe in any religion. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in... But you... What is your purpose on it? Like, okay, I started making money. I started giving birth to children. Why do you think you are here? Is it just for fun? Is it just to see your neighbor? Oh, hello, neighbor! No! You are here to share the word of God to people. You are here to preach to people. You are here to do good to others it had to be to make people feel like i like your attitude i want to know your god i want to follow your your pattern i want to follow your way you don't just live life and go like that it does not happen it's like you working in an office and you have no difference yeah. it makes no sense there's a purpose you are there and you have to accomplish that purpose there's always a superior boss you see, even man himself is always like, I'm your boss. I'm your boss. You have to work on him. You have to do this according to the rule and regulation. There's that putting a guideline. And talk more of the God who you can't see. So, um, there's no way someone can tell me there's God does not exist. And we just come to live life and go. No, most people who act like that are, are ignorant. Are totally ignorant. I, I love the debate from this man. He clarified it. He is. It hits the nail at the point. Like, boom, boom, brother, we are doing the wrong thing. This is the right path. If you keep on going like this, and you die, you regret it your entire for eternity. And I love how he talked to him. He convinced him. Um, not even convinced. He showed him the light. That is all he said. He showed him the right path. Like. There is a God. There is a purpose in life. I like that. I like how he explained how the the atheist was trying to debate and he was clarifying the guy like this is the right path. You get that? Yeah, I agree. If it's not the right path, millions and billions of people won't be following there. And sometimes when billions and millions of people are following, it's not the right path. But you yourself don't believe in anything. And me, myself, I believe in there's a God. Okay, you don't believe in anything. You believe in the God I believe. Yeah. So you have somewhere to go to. There's a creator. We don't just come to this world like that. And I love this video. I love the debate. I love how he spoke to the man. How he clarified everything. It was really, really nice. What do you think? Uh, it's a very nice video. Yeah. I love the fact that um, the man came down to the 80s level. Like he was not being judgmental, and you know, was he forcing his media yeah. on him? He was just being rational and very logical because he said, So, you believe that if you die, just it's natural, no afterlife, nothing. So, 
if me that is a not going to just like you said I die to and based on your own understanding of death that means nothing's going to happen to me I won't go to hellfire I'll just die and that's it but if my own religion is what is right my own belief is what is right you lose because if you don't believe in God you don't believe that there's a maker you won't you go to hellfire you will be in a lake of fire because you didn't believe in it. So you lose. So why don't you just join me? You get it? Like he used something very logical to tell him, why don't you just join me? So even if at the end of the day, just as the final say, then at least, you know, you have a backup plan. So yeah. if you doesn't work out, you can fall into the other one. So he used something very, very logical to converse the guy, to make him think deeper than just his... Superficial mindset, guys. It was a very, very wise discussion. Very. I really loved the way he spoke. And I love the fact that he was very real and he was not judgmental. That's what I love about him. Guys, comment below what you think about the video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video with as many as possible so that you can channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all